the year I was born is the year that they actually named it, which is called Holt Orem Syndrome and it affects the heart and the arms. Yes, it sometimes looks a little different to other people, but it doesn't look different to me and my, my family. Growing up, it was a lot of trial and error. I'm realizing how many things I can't quite do with the left arm. Um, so I know Michelle's seen, seen by a couple other uh, clinicians just to kind of come up with some ideas, talk about uh, different options, um, kind of expectations and goals. I saw some pictures and I saw what was ordered. Made sense, but obviously, you know, Michelle with having her focal amelia, she, you know, it's it's a little bit more of a challenging case. It was great to bring Otto back in. Uh, they were amazing from the very beginning. By nine o'clock, we had nothing. By 10 o'clock that night, we have a prosthetic that has buttons. Now, it should be at the elbow, and that oh. brings up, yep, and the bottom. Wow, it actually, <laughs> I didn't actually think it was gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing how quick that process can go when you bring a lot of people together and, and just work on it. It was nice to have everybody there as a team uh, to really just kind of bounce ideas and trial and error type of stuff. It was a pretty big team effort on just ideas getting thrown left and right on, you know, ideas from, from Anabak, who had, you know, obviously has probably the most experience with upper extremities. And it was neat. We brought in the occupational therapy department and they came down and she was able even to provide some, some input that, that was an OT perspective instead of just a prosthetic perspective. And that's what's kind of unique about Mary Freebed is you guys have the whole team um, available and it's, uh, so that's, it's, it's a unique setting and so, so it's, a good, it's a good option for patients. It's been a fun journey. I, I'm so glad I jumped into it. It's a process. It's a lot of trial and error. At the beginning, it was, yeah, we're gonna go for this and it's gonna be a positive thing. And once you get into it, you do realize that there are drawbacks. Cause this is the one that bugs me the most. But um, it's still worth the challenge. It's kind of the same with all of life. You know, you take the good with the bad and you keep going. And if you focus on the good, it's going to be good. And if you focus on the bad, it's going to be bad. Rotate the wrist. Yep, keep going. That's something that none of us else can do other than you in the room. <laughs> and um, it's important, you know, to anybody to just go for it. Because if you don't, you're not going to know.